Okay, if we want to go ahead and summarize that article, Floating Airport, Busan is looking forward to remaining a major tourism hub in Korea and is building the infrastructure to accommodate this more and more. One major project is going to be that floating airport. Most offshore airports are built on reclaimed land, but this has environmental consequences. So a floating airport, on the other hand, should actually be more beneficial to the marine environment. It also has a advantage of being far from populated areas. It can't be reached by roads, so of course sound pollution will be reduced as well. Completion is scheduled for around 2035. 2035, okay. Mm. So where exactly are they putting it in mm. Busan? The Busan government is going to be putting it offshore right near the city. Okay. So uh, why do we need another airport in Busan? Well, the current one is operating almost at max capacity. And so they're looking to have another one to alleviate the traffic and, you know, promote, promote more tourism. Okay, sounds like a good plan then. How has the pandemic affected the tourism industry in your country? And what signs have you seen that travel in your country is returning to normal? Tourism in America, as you probably know as well, <laughs> has been severely affected the, by the pandemic. Um, numbers dropped up to 40% in some states. But we've seen a lot of positive return back to normal these days. Um, in fact, just this last week, it got back to pre-2019 levels in most of America. Oh, good to hear. What do most foreign tourists enjoy doing when they visit America? <laughs> and what do you enjoy doing when you visit other countries? Yeah, I, have, I don't know. What did they do when they, <laughs> like, they're probably all the tourist stuff, right? Yeah, like Disneyland, yeah. Yeah. Statue of Liberty, yeah. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. I mean, uh, you're thinking L.A., San Francisco, New York. Yeah. Top locations. Yeah. Uh, Las Vegas, don't forget Las the Vegas, gambling. Uh, maybe some of the national parks. I don't know, Yellowstone. Oh, yeah. Uh, so far, that's so hard to get to. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's what I'm guessing. Yeah, what do I you think? that too. And as for me, when I visit other countries, it really depends on my mood, but I do often go for sightseeing, for food, but especially the thing that I like the most is just walking around the local neighborhoods and seeing how people live day to day. Nothing special, just walking and looking. Sounds pretty similar to what I do. <laughs> really? Sure. <laughs> Food, of course. Food, of course. Food, yeah, of course. Definitely. No, I want to get in with the people and actually <laughs> mm. see the place. Yeah, Not absolutely. just like look from my hotel room. I often avoid like the tourist areas as much as yeah. possible. Mm -hmm. exactly. No, no Empire State Building for me. No, not No at Great all. Wall of China. Yeah. Well, I did do that. Yeah. Well, ruined everything. <laughs> but... I got a story behind that. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't your usual trip. Well, that's it for the review section right now. Let's go ahead and take a deeper look at that vocabulary. See you in the next. On the lookout for. On the lookout for. On the rise. On the rise. Slated to do something. Slated to do something. Reclaimed land. Reclaimed land. From scratch. From scratch.